What's up guys? I'm Larry B. Carter II and today is election day. Are you ready? I've been in this area since 2009 and I've been focused on equity since I moved here. Um, I was the president of a community called Ashview Heights that sits right across the street from the AUC Center. And I wondered why such a historic area um, was forgotten about by the city. So I started talking to neighbors and that just led me forward in really engaging people in work um, that I would call my life's work. I'm running to make sure that every person has an opportunity in District 4, just like I had. I, I got my degree here, I met my husband here, and I'm gonna start my family here. And I want this place to be great for everybody. Life before the campaign was, um, it could be hectic at times. I was <laughs> doing entertainment stuff, so I was on the go, you know, filming or recording or performing. So it was hectic, but in a different way. Uh, this type of recognition that has come with running has been a bit different. People feel attached to me. Uh, they get to see me and not a character I'm playing. They get to see my authentic self. Uh, and it's been a blessing to be accepted as my authentic self. I am so excited <laughs> to be at the finish line of this campaign for so many different reasons. Um, campaigning is really grueling because you have to be everywhere all the time. Plus, I believe in having a full-time job. I believe public service can be something that you do as an addition to your life. I don't believe like that's necessarily a full-time job. Uh, so I've been doing both and it's been challenging. So realizing that we're at the finish line, it's emotional, um, it feels exciting. My family is around, I just, I'm happy. <laughs> As you tossed your hair already. <laughs> well, okay. <sighs> Here we go. You've done a great job. I've been seeing along the hard work that you've been putting into it. You know, going to all these events, man. Doing all these things, I know it's not easy. It definitely is not. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. I mean, I just want to see difference. I guess. I mean, well, I've already seen a difference, so I feel like. It's gonna be good, no matter what happens. Oh yeah, I think so. It's a win, regardless. So, I'm grateful. Were you ready to cast your ballot for yourself? <sighs> I know, yes, that's like, it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> it's like, this moment is really here. You think about it, you work towards it for so many months, mm -hmm. and then it actually like happens. It's, it's unrealistic. Excuse me, we can slide past you. I'm sorry. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. <sighs> okay. So we gotta put a mask on. Maybe we can do a little selfie. The sun is this way, so. Oh, look at that. Melanin popping. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Here we go. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm amazingly well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> All right, here we go. Going ahead to cast my ballot for myself. Can you believe it? Wearing a shirt. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was, 
<laughs> that was, he was very aggressive. <laughs> you can't wear that. Like, calm down. <laughs> that, that was a bit much. But <laughs> that's, I feel good. It was like, <laughs> it's surreal to see my name like on the ballot mm. in real life. Like, I mean, I've seen it. your full name, like with the second on there and everything, and the middle initial? Well, I, that's or? my name on my license. So oh, yeah. I had to, um, when you fill out the form, and ask you to write your name as it is on your license. But that can't be because people have nicknames on the ballot. <laughs> It's like yeah, so they do like Granny Pete. Yeah. <laughs> so that is what it is, but I feel good about it. I mean, that was like a relief to take some of the anxiety. You know, I've been people have been sending me their pictures of like their sticker and they voted for me. So yeah. to actually experience it, it makes it like I don't know, more real. If that makes sense, I don't know. We will, we will. So it's all worth it. It's all worth it. You know how my m mom is very uh, specific in the way she likes things. So oh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, yeah, that's. Hey, how y'all doing? That's um, how it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I understand why you are the way you are. Community members have been asking me to run since 2012. And I think it's more of building capacity. I felt like I have the experience, um, I have the know-how, and I have the capacity to handle the work that's before me. Also, my family is ready to receive uh, the work. That was an important part to me. Are you ready for the next position as far as the politics will take it? I address this in my video. No, <laughs> I think um, I am like wherever I'm called to go, I feel like I'll go. Whether, you know, even in this, I was always engaged in community, but when I started running, I started focusing more on the real issues that people were talking about and finding solutions, whether they were here in the city or somewhere else. So if it comes down to that, if that's my next step, then I'll be ready. It makes sense that you're not giving up at this step, at this level. You, 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 you have programmed yourself to. Okay. Oh, yeah, the sky is the limit. I mean, you don't just get at one level and say I'm going to stay there. You always reach for the highest position you can get. You know, I mean, that's what we taught you. Isn't that it? is. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's not even for me. It's not even about me. I feel like. In my life right now, I am at an amazing place. And that's what gives me the capacity to really take on something like this. It's like, it's about making a better city for the people who live here, honestly. Because um, I just think about people who are just like me who don't have access to the things I've had access to. So if something that I can do can affect the next generation in a positive way, I want to do it. And then sometimes when I listen to some of your, um speeches and all that. I'm just like, whose child is this? <laughs> Who raised him? Where'd he come from? <laughs> it's just like kind of shocking sometimes, you know, it's like, wow. <laughs> you know, but it's really, you know, I'm really, really proud. You know, I'm glad to be your mom. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that. I wish you all the success in the world. Yeah. Everyone always gives you kudos. Like your parents <laughs> raised you right. <laughs> and that's helpful because that helps build uh, trust and, you know, people, vulnerability, are willing to be vulnerable with me because they feel safe yeah. and that's important. <sighs> you feeling a little overwhelmed from the campaign? Yes. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, it's a lot of emotion and people, you know, our house is usually really quiet. Mm -hmm. And so having yeah, people it's... here is kind of. Yeah, it's an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's here to support you. If you all know this. <laughs>
are you feeling well supported? I am feeling well supported. That's I just, good. you know. It was really thoughtful of your parents to come down from Virginia. I think so. I feel, I feel grateful that they thought it was important enough to be present for this moment. So, mm. so I just want to make sure it's everything it needs to be, uh, so they're not disappointed. I don't think they'll be disappointed regardless of how it all turns out. I think they'll be very proud. I'm proud. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How do you feel like this is going to impact the next chapter of our lives? <sighs> well. I mean, we've obviously been working on some things before this, so. I know. Children will be good. I feel like this work is for our kids, like, honestly. Well, I what's want, the connection there? Well, I mean, a better district where we live will mm. lead to better schools. You know I'm my advocate of them going to school where they live. I don't want to send them to, like, private schools. I want yeah, them to public I agree school. with that, too. I think that's really important for them to grow up um, in a community that they can go to school in. I think... You send the wrong message to kids when you bust them out or take them some other place um, to educate them versus doing it in their neighborhood. They get the idea that, you know, their their education isn't possible in their own community, and I don't know that that's a good signal you want to send to children. So. I don't either. So? Well, I think just stick in there. Stick in there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that works. I feel better. <laughs> Thank you, I do. I thank you for your support. I really, really do. You've been very supportive through this process, like for real. I mean, I know it's not easy. But thank you. A lot of people ask me what's next for me. And honestly, I don't know. Um, I am going to go where I'm called to go. Uh, and that's always going to be me being of service. Uh, so whether it be as city council or as a neighborhood president or whatever that might be, or just as a resident, I'm going to do the work. So that's what's next. I move the earth and sea. Just to fail and try again I climb the highest mountain If I get the time to spend Being, learning, growing Getting a deeper understanding Knowing Time waits for no one Can't let no one stop me I'll take the risk I'll risk it all Take that fall after all, my dreams, my dreams, my dreams depend on me I'll take the risk, I'll risk it all Take that fall, after all My dreams, my dreams, my dreams depend on me <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come in here. He wants me to do it in front of the back of Thank you, thank you to everyone for being here. I am so grateful. Um, I have really 
I'm overwhelmed with emotion and gratitude. I feel the love from each one of you every single day. Um, this has been a grassroots effort pushing forward and I couldn't have done it without people just like you standing around this room from your kind words to your donations, to your volunteerism, to you're just connecting me with people who needed to hear my message and believing in my message. Um, this celebration was about thanking you for supporting me. Uh, whatever happens, we don't have the results yet, but whatever happens, this was a win. So let, let's talk about what has already happened. Oh, sorry, was I supposed to pause? I'm bad at that. <laughs> uh, what has already happened is my message has resonated in a way because of people just like you that sitting council members are, have put forth legislation to have property taxes capped at 3% raise because that's what I talked about in June. So, so that's a win when you look at it where we can have a message that's about the people and for the people and force people to engage and force them to do the work that needs to be done. So no matter what happens, we're going to keep on moving forward. And that is what this campaign was about. Moving the heart of the city forward is about the people, really putting people before politics. And that's what it's going to take. So no matter what happens with this campaign, we're going to move forward. So we're going to keep pushing. We're going to hold people accountable. We are going to show up and show out. And for the people who didn't show up this time around, we're going to tell them why it's important for them to show up. We have to educate each other, love each other, and, and see the humanity in the people that are around us. I think that has been one of the greatest experiences uh, from the unsheltered population to our senior population. <laughs> we all are here, like I said in there. So we have people here that grew up on Oak Street, which is the next street over. We have people here who just moved here and are learning about Atlanta. And we've all come together for a common purpose, the better good of District 4 and the city of Atlanta. And I'm gonna keep working until we reach our goals. I want to thank you, and I, that's all I have, so. <laughs> it's love, man. It's, it's like tight love in here, man. And I'm, I look up to this guy. I thought I was the busiest guy. This guy, he'll show me you can keep going, and I'm just like, that's why, I, hey, man. I'm going to join this circle, and I'm going to speak on it. I'm 10 toes down, and I'm with it. I love hard. Thank you. That's, that's me. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else wanted to say anything. I just leave the floor open and you can just popcorn if you have things to say. Not just about me or the campaign, but just in general in a space, a safe space of love. Love, yes. Whew. I feel it. Man, hey, I'm with you, man. I thought I was the biggest man. Yo, this man, I say I can't not stand see him singing in the bathroom, performing just. <laughs> no, I'm on your side, man. Whatever you want, I'm with it, bro. Thank you, well, thank you. I just wanted to say that I'm so proud of Larry. Like, I've known Larry for over 20 years. Yeah. Okay. And, like, just seeing us come from Norfolk and just seeing all of the accomplishments and everything that he's done, it just makes me so proud. Mm. And just, I'm just really, really, really happy for him. Thank you. I appreciate you. Like, just all the stuff that he does for community and just in friendship. Yes. Like, he's just a yeah, hey. overall person. So, it was no brainer for me just to support him. Exactly. He does an amazing job in everything he does. Exactly, Thank TJ. You. I left that part out. You got it. All right. Hey. Thank you. Don't cry, man. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to cry. Just hear it. I'm pretty weird, man. I support values based leadership. And so it's built on integrity, compassion, relationships, and innovative action. And that's what he stands for. You know, he, he fostered me in this migration from North Carolina to Atlanta, from the West Coast, before I moved here. He uh, strategically positioned me in a place where I was uh, set up for equity within the environment I'm in. and made sure that there wasn't any funny business in the process and was able to check in on me through the process and I'm appreciative of that and he is really a true testament to what Atlanta needs to be and how it starts before you even run for office and you build that relationship based moving into the leadership positions. Barry is 
my best friend and literally this is like this is like my brother like i have a brother and i'm closer to her than like yes my yes I ain't but, uh, <laughs> he knows this i've told him this many times but Larry has inspired me and motivate, motivated me in so many ways that he will never understand the impact that he's had on my life. What I've done, what I'm doing with my career, what I do daily. So this isn't even just about the campaign, but just being around him has done so much for me. Just as an individual, I can never thank him for how much of an impact that he's had. And that's why still to this day, <laughs> I flew in from LA just to be here with him yes. on this day because I yes. wanted to support him <laughs> as much as he has supported me. There is messages and things that he never intended to give me, but I received it and I've applied it and it has worked. It so worked. Yes. thank you. Yes, <laughs> thank you. yes, yes, yes. That's the truth, bro. Yes, it's talking about move forward. And I, I, I said a lot when I talk to individuals about how we Larry trying to move a force and we know the force stands out but I, I'm, I'm thinking more move you have move every time we see Larry Carter he's moving he's, moving. he's on a move he's on a move for what he's on a move for the people wow. and he has moved people's hearts he has moved yes, people's me. passions he has moved people's thoughts he has moved people's opinion mm. he has moved people's desire he has moved people's vision and that's why the people are standing with you because you have showed them you didn't talk about it but you moved about it yes so we want to thank you, you for go. moving forward yes sir bro. thank you yes sir thank you yes i wouldn't live around the corner from him if it wasn't for larry uh larry and i used to work together um once you're an educator you're always an educator just not in the classroom right? <laughs> Um, no, Larry has helped me in moments when I'm like, I don't know. He's like, oh, yes, you can. Yeah. And I'm like, or we've had heavy conversations through when he was acting or when he was um, a music performance or when he was like, I'm going to do this. And I was like, oh. <laughs> so this is just the beginning, y'all. You know that, right? Like, he's he's just getting started. That's why I said to Nolan, I was like, oh, you ready? He was the difference with Larry and other politicians is that that level of authenticity he has, and he's not a politician. Right. Right. Well, I'll, that's, I'll, that's, same that's, thing. that's his that's his ace card. Yes. And he is of the people, and I think when he goes out and canvass and people see that, that he's that for those core values, that's 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 his trump card. And you started off small, Larry, but you continue to grow, and it was always about the people. And um, you know your time in, in, in education and talking about how you were an educator, which was absolutely amazing. I mean, I, I know that the young people whose lives you touched are forever changed for the good, and that's a really, really good thing. And when you told me you were running, it's like, yeah, this is the, this is the next stage. This is the next chapter. And um, I said, I don't know a damn thing about politics, but I'm going to support this man because I believe in what you wanted to do and what you continue to do. And at the end of the day. For the people who live here, it's like you couldn't be a better candidate. You couldn't Thank be you. a better candidate. It's like your vision and your energy and your, and your passion are all about what we need in order to move forward. And in that little you know, speech that I put together, it's like I, I truly said it because I believe in what it is that you are about and what you, yeah. you try to do for us. So, yes. so thank you, Larry, yes. and love you to death. As thank you. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, I thank you so much, Larry, for the encouragement you gave us. I don't think we would have made that leap if it weren't for you, and it's been the best decision we've ever made. And so I know when you talk about moving forward, if anybody knows how to do that, that is you. So. And that is Mayor Carter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, it's President Carter. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I receive all the positive energy. <laughs> I will definitely take that. I am so grateful. Thank you for your kind words. I mean, I don't. I didn't want to cut anybody else off. If you're so moved to say something, but you can talk to me privately if you like. Um, I am just grateful to be surrounded by love. You know, I, um, when Antoine won his award, um, 
I talked about it, you know, you have a family that you're born into, and then you have your chosen family. And I think um, my chosen family really steps up and fills in the gaps because my family is not here. So um, I have all of you whenever I feel weak, whenever I feel discouraged, whenever I feel confused. <laughs> I know that I have you and I've had you for years. So I am so grateful for the old relationships and the new blossoming relationships. I'm grateful for each one of you because I am who I am because of your influence on me. And I thank you for that. When I win, uh, in the first 100 days, what I plan to do is walk the communities with community members. I want to put my eyes on the issues that community members have been dealing with for decades. I want to come up with a strategic plan with people at the focus of it. And that is going to be how they can measure my success as their councilman. So this list that we put together as a group is my main goal so I can make sure that we're setting metrics we have to have measurable goals. Again, I am Larry Carter and I wanna thank every person out there for your vote. And even if you didn't support me, I wanna thank you for showing up to the polls and voting. This is our right, so we gotta be present. Make your voice heard.